First day on the boat, and I've just met our skipper, you know, it's Tony, and uh, we've had him all day, we've walked through everything there is to look at on this boat. Um, he actually seems like a solid lad, he really wants us to learn, and the crew's getting on really well. We did our first bit of shopping uh, down at the supermarket. It's a bit logistical for my taste, um, I'm finding my organisational skills are a bit stretched, but I'm adapting and I'm finding that it is getting better. Alright, so let's, uh, let's walk around the boat. Yeah, it was a Sunsail 404, something like that. It's not very big, I think it's only 40 foot long, something like that. It's a bit windy at the moment, still at the UKSA. Here's Chris, one of my people, and we've all gone up and down this, checking everything from the life raft to the fuel, gas, engine, everything. And if I pop down here, Molly's got the cooking duty for the first day. There we go, there's Chris, it's not too bad down here. Let's have a poke around. We're finding that space is a little difficult. I think I can turn on the torch. Yeah. Space is a little bit pushed, but they do maximise the area in these yachts. There's a nav station, radio. All of these blocks they come open. There's a electric block, better than a pump one. Giving a tour for the block. Yeah, giving a tour for the block. There's Molly doing a fantastic job of our first dinner. Might be preemptive in saying that. It's yet to be uh, decided. There's another one. I think the skipper's sleeping in there. I popped down here. Lisa's looking comfortable there in the corner. Does she ever smile? Yes. That's the yes. There's proof on this video now. Look at this massive space the girls get. What is this? Where is equality? <laughs> I'm going. They have packed. There's, we're a lot of metrosexual men on this boat. Right. That's going to be. Is all of the the place where what's it called? The saloon. That's it. So I'm be sleeping in here. These for the first bit. Uh, my sleep farts and Chris and Jake will be sleeping in there. Dive. Uh, do we have any thoughts before we set off? Anyone, Lisa? Do you have any thoughts you'd like to add to the uh, no. to the vlog? No. Nothing, Nothing to say to the fans. I have far too many of them. Oh, it's all right. Your corned beef hash is going to be disgusting. Do you don't know that yet. They don't believe that I have amazing corned beef hash. They will be proved wrong. Anything to say, Molly, at the start? No? Everyone's going to become super fun and happy with my company on this boat. Of that, I am sure. <laughs> I'm going overboard in like two days. <laughs> Alright, see if Chris, uh, Jake will talk. Just for the blog. Any words? Wait there, wait there, wait there. Any words? Any words for the blog? Any words for the um, PC words, please. PC. PC, you know. I don't know. Not really. Just having a good time, mate. Excellent. Having dream. a good time, mate. All right. That is uh, that's the end of my first sort of sea blog. Everything is fantastic. All the kits on board. I'm yet to find out if I've done this right or not. But at the moment, excited. Signing off. Second day on the boat now. I've started wearing my boots. Very warm. Very comfy. Two berries. Would recommend. Um, it's a long day, we've obviously been going through tutorials far more, uh, what's the word, practical than yesterday. We were going around the boat doing winching, uh, got the storm jib out, look at him getting undressed there. I didn't actually get it. Um, uh, what else do we do? Gotta get dressed out of your dirty laundry bag, that's, that's the way we do it. <laughs> Smells not too bad at the moment, but uh, at least we'll make sure that gets fixed later on. Oh, okay, I was nice working as cook today. We have already set up a rotor, which I'm just going to show the camera to now. And look who has to pay twat tax for life. <laughs> I've already yes. put two pounds on the twat one, tax. It's your only, it is Jane. The twat tax is a fantastic idea. It's, uh, if you've been an overall, you know, a massive twat on the boat, Asshole. you pay a pound into the jar, because we want to have a meal at the end of it. That's what it goes towards. The end of it builds up enough, and the biggest twats pay the most for the food and drink, which I think is a fantastic idea. And I think what was it? Was it you who came up with that, Lisa? Yeah. 
Yeah, Lisa came up with that. There you go. Give us a wave, Lisa. Hello. There you go. There you go. She's looking a little bit like a school teacher at the moment. Um, More like a mum. <laughs> Sorry, Lisa. Yeah, I was cooking. Yeah, she 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 was Difficult and inconvenient to do on a boat. One pan does it all. <laughs> exactly. I would so say, I as I it. said from the beginning, and I broke my own rule, the best way to cook is to have one cooking instrument. So either do it all in a pan, all in a pot, or all in an oven. Omelette. Omelette. And uh, who's cooking tomorrow? Jake is cooking tomorrow. Uh, I think he's a little that bit uneasy though. about it. So me and Chris will probably be helping him out a little bit. Probably more Chris. He... Hasn't proved his ability yet, but he does talk the talk. Um, anything else to mention from today? Uh, we're still on. We're still moored at the UKSA, living life on a boat, but uh, not being at sea. But tomorrow, hopefully, we will be going somewhere. Um, it's night time at the moment. Uh, three viewers. Um, it's day three. And I'm pretty knackered. I was, uh, I was the bitch today, or mother, the PC term. Um, so today we made our first passage, well not passage, trip, I guess would be the word for it. Um, yeah, that's amazing. This is the first time I've been out on a boat that's really gone anywhere and that I've had any control over. Uh, we did all sail winching, rope tying things. Um, what else did we do? A bit of helming, tacking, like no jibing. Yeah. <laughs> Make it sound a bit. The more, the more technical terms I use, <laughs> I found out there's a push pit as well as a pull pit. And tow rails and things like that. Yeah, covered loads of things today. So much that my head is uh, spinning a little bit. So I apologise for how this is put across because I am fecking knackered. Um, yeah, it, was, it wasn't It was that windy, we healed over a little bit, got a cheap, I got a tiny bit seasick, but I dealt with that and I'm pretty sure it's just because we seem to be addicted to tea and coffee yeah. on this boat. Um, can anyone else think of anything important that I've missed that we did today, because we did a lot today? Yeah. No? Okay, Jake, any words today for um, any advice you'd have after, you know, our first session? Just keep it real. Where are you, Chris? Don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> but you, Molly? Molly, she is the uplifter of the group. Whenever anyone is upset, she is the most caring person. Nah, she just beats you just when come does. along immediately and deal with your emotions by slapping you with a wet haddock. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, I can't think of more. Tony is an absolute lad. I'm the navigation bloke tomorrow, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, yeah, that's all I can think of. Yeah. I just seem to wash everything today. Quite therapeutic. But I had help. I'll admit, I had help. Who wants coffee? But uh, it's time for tea now. So I'm signing off. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry for the vagueness of this message. I'll try better tomorrow. Um, no, honestly, hot orange You'll be tired by this shit. point. Better recording. We're actually in Yarmouth now. I thought I might mention that. We travelled from Cows in the Isle of Wight at the UK say, to Yarmouth. Most of it was navigated by Tony. You just escaped. At the sight of me doing this. <laughs> so, just know that for the sake of the two people who are going to watch this, I've, I've already pissed off this. Already pissed off my skipper. Off. <laughs> so, I'll do a photo shoot with him later and he'll love that. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Alright, that's everything. That was my only point. Okay. Good night. Right. And we have arrived in uh, you, Portsmouth. Just we have arrived in Portsmouth, in Gosport, in Han Hazar Marina? Hazlar. Um, 
We've been doing man overboard drills all day. Did a sail up from Yarmouth this morning. Um, I had got wind burned, but I did get to helm. It was possibly the best feeling I have ever had. You're going to make it on the blog. Um, what else can I think about mentioning? Learned some winch handle, made some stupid mistakes. Still don't understand anything about lines. Um, tonight we're all going out for some sort of indiscriminate meal. I don't actually know. I'm putting a lot of trust in other people here. Um, Part of yachting, hey? <laughs> yes. Um, I can't think of anything else. I'm not very good at this, this vlog thing. First of all, man overboard. Man overboard is difficult on a yacht. Quite convoluted on a yacht. Um, very different to powerboat and dinghies and even keelboats. Much more difficult. Although, I think it might be easier to master. Much more difficult to learn, but easier to master. If that makes sense. Like skiing. Um, what else? Meals. It was Lisa today, but obviously she's... Bunker. I was the end, not engineer, I was the navigation today. So I, uh, well, we did pretty basic. I just sort of found a route into Portsmouth and Gosport using transits and all the like. Tony is still a stand up bloke. Very, very happy with our skipper. And that's pretty much everything I can think of today. I'm just, I'm getting tired now. All right, I'm signing off. Check this out! Woohoo! Ah. Give us a smile! It is incredible up here. Ooh. Ah. Portsmouth at its best. Four or five. Not entirely sure. Um, That's what happens. Today was an excellent day. We uh, sailed from Portsmouth to Southampton, which is where we are now. A couple of things ticked off on my list, a solid amount of helming. And I, um... Um, we were going to find Kieran on your phone. I went up the mast, which was... Oh, Facebook call. We didn't. Loved it. All the way up the mast. We had a easy, you guys read all of it. Hasba? Hasba Marina? Something like that? We thought Um, I was engineer today, so that's why I did it, and, um... Um, lubed up the mast track, which made the sail go up so easy. Um, tried, to, I mean, there's a, we've got a bunch of things broken on this boat. There's a drawer that won't work. It's not important. Um, yeah, got to know the skipper a little bit last night. Tony, fantastic bloke, very jealous of the things his daughters have done with their life. They're pilots, like, uh, they do eye doctors, they sail boats, they drive steam engines, they do so much stuff. Quite cool. I had a solid chat with Tony last night. Um, Lisa eats all the time, and the uh, she's becoming increasingly infatuated with Kieran, which is another lad on the uh, on the cadet <laughs> ship. Um, we're hoping it's going to make for the first cadet ship couple, and hopefully they're going to be married and stuff. Other than that, Lisa has taken her place as second on the podium in the twat tax. Uh, I'm still first with four. I don't, know. I don't think that's likely to change. I'm just, I feel a little bit violated right now. But I guess that's just what life on board is like. It's very tight. Um, that's everything I can think of. Fantastic day. You know what, the team really came together today. Actually, there's another point to add. I think the synchronisation is starting to happen and we're starting to learn to work with each other at this point. They were laughing at me, but this is going to help people someday. Thank you uh, and good night. I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow, but thank you. And good night. Good um, night. I forgot to do one yesterday. Yesterday we sailed from Gosport to Leamington. Gosport, gorgeous town key, absolutely spot on, fantastic facilities. Livington, like twice the price, three times the price, it was about 40, 49 pounds. Same facilities, absolute rip off. Um, now, then we sailed around to some man overboards. Uh, it's getting a bit close to the end now. Uh, I'm looking forward to the sleep, but I'm not looking forward to being back on land.
Um, I've got a very appreciating crew that have been very supportive throughout this entire sea phase. They've never been at a point where they've questioned any of my skills or even doubted that I could complete a task. That was all bullshit. They've done it all right. Um, we had corned beef hash tonight and uh, it didn't work exactly right. I've now learned that that's also not a great meal. I haven't been sticking to my own rule or advisory that um, you should have a one pan, one dish meal. Uh, other than that, um, yeah, that's it. We did some man overboards. Uh, they're getting a little bit better, but we're still off. <laughs> My shark went overboard at one point, and Shaky Boy is just as much of a twat as me now, apparently, which is impressive. Okay, um, that's about all I can think of. My shark went overboard.